We all have abilities that come naturally to us. Certain skills or mindsets that are so second nature, so effortless, using them feels like riding a bike. For Ava, that's keeping her cool when everyone around her is stressing out or setting aside her own preferences long enough to really consider other points of view. Those are both kinds of emotional intelligence, but they aren't the only ones. Because the truth is, there are many different ways to be good at handling emotional and social situations, and people have different natural strengths. So, what are yours? That's where Agile EQ comes in. Using a tool called Everything Disk, Agile EQ provides a simple way to understand yourself and the kinds of emotional intelligence that may come naturally to you. Everything Disk describes four main styles. People with a D or dominant style are typically direct and firm. Their emotional intelligence really shines when they need to project confidence and persuade others. And they're usually good at speaking up for themselves. Those with an I or influence style are generally outgoing and enthusiastic. They're naturals at making connections wherever they go. And they tap into the energy in a room by paying attention to how people are feeling. People with an S or steadiness style are usually even tempered and accommodating. They often excel at understanding where other people are coming from and their calm, flexible approach helps keep conversations harmonious and collaborative. And finally, those with a C or conscientiousness style are typically analytical and reserved. Their EQ strengths involve stepping back and separating facts from their personal feelings, and they're often good at showing restraint, even in tense situations. You might have one of these styles or a blend of two, like Ava, whose SC style means she has a combination of S and C traits. The strengths associated with that part of the disk map are probably easiest and most natural for her. But what about when Ava needs to, say, network with strangers or confront a coworker about a problem? In situations like these, she may have to reach for skills that don't come as naturally. And if she can't do that or doesn't think to try, that can create problems for her. Because sometimes our instinctive patterns don't work and actually end up boxing us in. Drawing on the principles of emotional intelligence, Agile EQ helps us discover our natural tendencies and recognize when to move beyond those familiar patterns. And that's what allows us to act, adapting to whatever situation we're facing. And that ability to adapt to reach for a wider variety of responses? It's called agility. It's about stretching beyond our comfort zones when what's instinctive for us isn't enough. It means developing the flexibility to respond to different situations with the best possible approach, not just the one that's easiest. And really, the more agile we are in our responses, the more emotionally intelligent we become. And that empowers us to achieve things we never believed were possible, to enrich our relationships, and even to engage with the world in a new way.